welcome back uh, today I have this beautiful lily flowers to share with you these are these are the flowers uh, that uh, I use in my uh, projects so you know that I like to use my handmade flower in most of my project unless I'm really want to get done with my project fast otherwise I prefer to use my own flowers and as I love making flowers, that's the main thing. Uh, so whenever I get some free time, I start making these flowers. So if you see, um, so this particular bunch, it has all stamens. Those are the, uh, handmade stamens. And I made them, I don't have tutorial for the, how to make these stamens uh, right now. But uh, this is these are very simple and easy to make. And there are some tutorial available on YouTube channel. Uh, not on my channel but if you try to find out you will surely get some nice tutorials on how to make these um, stamens at home basically I use uh, one white thread and then put a glue around the white thread like this uh, tacky glue just try to rub it on the thread and uh, let it dry for a while and once it is dried it becomes kind of thick then you can cut them into desired length and for this, um, what do you say, this stamen head, I use um, cornstarch and this glue. So I made kind of a uh, spaced with using cornstarch uh, and then I dipped end at the uh, both ends of the of that thread in that uh, paste and let it dry for a while. And the, for this particular um, stamen in the center, I just tried to make it like a bulb on one side and just the regular uh, this tear shape on the other side okay and also if you uh, don't have time to make your stamens you can always use these are the stamens that are uh, uh, I got it from uh, online from I think it's from it's a store or uh, I ordered on Amazon for after like a long time ago this this is the Sorrento crafts uh, and they have really nice small stamens uh, in there with the different colors so I will just show you quickly so I use some of these and also for this center part I use uh, like a big stamen that I bought it from um, Hobby Lobby uh, in the wedding section let me see if I have any sample for that Okay, yeah. So, if you see, uh, yeah. So I use this for the center, and you can just use one and try to pull it out towards the uh, bottom of this flower. Okay. So, yeah. Now uh, it's up to you how you like to have your stems. Okay. So I'm using this um, so paper studio sponge and. Uh, with, by using this sponge, I made this to um, petals. Sorry, let me show you. Okay, and um, also I'm going to use this uh, like a hole punch. It is a little bit larger in size. And then this di distress oxide. It's a milled lavender from Tim Holtz and scissor and these are the stamens uh, as I said I am using my ha handmade stamens and if you see uh, for this one particular stamen on one of the side it's like a kind of bulb so that is what we are going to put in the center of the flower and I'll just put this here just to I'll just put it here okay and then uh, this floral wire, so the, from floral wire, I just uh, cut the small piece and bend in uh, in between. Now this is like we we are using going to use this as a hook to for our um, what is it uh, for our stamens and then um, pencil and our my tacky glue. Okay. So let's get started. So the first thing I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to make the shape on one of the petal and I will show you. Let me get a closer look of this. Okay. So just think this is the center. 
and then I'm going to make it like a leaf petal like this since I have this um, punch I'm just making use of uh, this punch I don't have this three petal um, punch if but if you have anything like that you can sh uh, for sure use that this adds a little bit extra work but that's fine okay now just trace uh, this outline here like this now I'm going to put these two petals on top of each other and just cut through this shape okay okay so I have these two petals that are cut and ready now before uh, uh, just separating them I am just going to put this hole over here and if you don't have this punch you can go ahead and use any piercing tool so this is what we have uh, so I am just going to now separate it okay so next thing we are going to do is um, I'm going to apply this distress ink and you can use any color that you like. Um, so I'm just going to apply it on the edges and generally there are many crafters they just uh, like to put it on one side but I generally prefer putting it on both the sides but it's up to you again. Um, yes. So these are so pretty. I love making these flowers. So, yeah. And main thing is I can use them in my project. So that is a different feeling of satisfaction. You know, using your own flowers in your project. Okay. So soon we'll be getting something beautiful happening here. Right. Okay. So once these are done, then now I'm going to oops. There is my other tool. Okay. And uh, after this, uh, I'm going to um, yeah. Let me put this little, yeah my embossing mat is dirty, I know that, I need to clean it. Okay, so now I'm going to damp it with the water, don't put too much of water, just damp it with the water and then we are going to put the vents here, again let me, sorry for this curtain is zooming in and zooming out. I just want you all to get clear idea about what I am doing. So start from the center towards the end, towards the edge, one line and two. So these are like two. It will create this vein here. Can you see this? Okay, and it's like a leaf. You have to make veins. Uh, the way we, we do it for the leaf so again on the this do it for all three lobes okay and then here I'll show you it will look like this can you see these vents here okay and I think because of this light you cannot see it properly but can you see it now okay so likewise I'm going to do it for a second petal as well so damp it with the water and then Start from the center towards the edge. One, two, three. 
you can make as many ones but I think three should be good uh, otherwise it will get too crowded okay then again here on this low these are very quick flowers that's what I have seen so yeah if you are planning for any uh, project and uh, you want to make this flower so within I think one hour you can get some nice number of flowers so yeah okay and now I'm going to okay sorry so now we made this vents now I'm going to turn it around and just with this embossing tool I'm just going to like you know put uh, make a ball shape like this So we have these two petals ready. Now we are going to work on our um, stamens. So I have these stamens here and now I'm, as I said I am going to use this wire as a hook. So just I am going to fold them and put this around here just so that I can push uh, this stamens through this hole so and if you want to leave this wire and just you know use it as a stem you can do that as well okay and then uh, yeah now all these stamens are aligned on the same level but I will show you what we can do to pull that this bulb in the middle I'll show you so the first the thing is we are going to put this first petal okay it's like here okay and now you have to find out where this stamen is the bulb one okay, yeah this is the one okay good and then I am just going to push it down a little bit and make sure that And manipulate a little bit only this part is kind of little bit tricky otherwise everything is pretty much easy so okay so this is what I have let me show it to you the closer look <laughs> I'm sorry I'm just trying to focus it okay so if you see uh, in the center there is a that uh, bulb in the center and on the right on the outside there are all these stamens so the bulb is in the center so this is how you have to align your stamens okay and then I will put uh, tacky glue I will add a uh, next petal and the thing is when I made these stamens I did not realize the thread that I use is very it was little bit thicker so sometimes it becomes difficult for me to insert this uh, through the hole uh, so but if you are making your own stamens just try to make smaller ply thread like okay yeah okay this is what we have okay no this is good okay then and again I'll show you the in the quick look here. Okay. You see this and you can see the veins and everything nicely. And once it starts uh, drying, the veins will be more visible. So that's the reason wherever you try to uh, emboss lane, uh, sorry, veins, generally you use the opposite side so that it gives that effect, nice effect. And then you can put uh, again your glue 
and once it is done you can if you want to use like larger uh, longer stem you can just wrap a floral wire around this or uh, if you don't want I just uh, remove this and you know uh, this floral wire and just uh, put the floral tape around this um, around this what is it called as um, this uh, stamens thread okay let me see if I have this okay let me put I have this uh, let and let it dry so this glue needs to be to get dry so I have this and as I said I used a uh, thicker kind of uh, thread so I just cut some of them like and, and left only a couple of them so that it will be uh, thin uh, this stem will be thin I don't want it too much bulky uh, let me see where is my floral tape let me get my floral tape I'll show you Okay, so this is a floral tip. Uh, this is floral tip I'm using. I'm going to cut it uh, here, and again I'm going to cut it in the center because I don't want uh, it to be like it. Sometimes it becomes a little bit tricky when those uh, tape is very wide. So it's like this. And then you can wrap it around this white thread like this. Okay. And similarly, uh, I have another one. So in the remaining part you can use for another flower okay so this is how we have our flower ready so this is very quick and easy flowers to make and so whenever you have free time if you love making flowers these are like very you can make them in bunches so this is what i have made so far these are looking so pretty i am very excited to use them in my project okay i hope you like uh, this um, tutorial i'm sorry i was looking a little bit like you know for trying to find words today because it was a hectic day for me today uh, but i wanted to make this tutorial and um, since you all love watching my video uh, like tutorial so i hope you like this tutorial if you have any comment or if you have any question uh, please feel free to uh, let me know uh, and till, till then i'll see you next time bye